Welcome to a video taking a look at angles in parallel lines. Um, before you start answering any questions, it might be worth you taking a few notes on these four different um, rules and things to think about when thinking about answering questions with angles in parallel lines. The first is that corresponding angles are the same. So, as we can see here, these angles here are going to be exactly the same. We know if uh, a set of angles are corresponding because they create an F shape. Another way that we can think about it is that <coughs> the angle here is on these set of four angles, these one, two, three, four angles created here with this line that is going through that parallel line at the top. Now it creates four angles and this one here, we could say that this angle here is in the bottom right corner of those four angles. So the one above it is the top right. So this one would be your top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. Angles are corresponding if they're in exactly the same position on the other parallel line. So we can see this one here, this one is also in the bottom right. And so because they are both in the bottom right we can say that they are corresponding angles and that they are the same. Okay. Secondly, opposite angles are the same. So if we have got two angles on the same parallel line, so this is our parallel line here, two angles that are opposite each other are going to be the same. So if this angle here was say uh, 40 degrees and this angle here would have to be 40 as well. Okay, alternate angles. Alternate angles are sometimes referred to as Z angles and that's simply because they create a Z shape if we are to follow the lines through. And we can say that alternate angles, angles that create this Z shape are the same. Then lastly angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees. So if we have got two angles, say here and here, that are on the same straight line, and we can see that they're both on this straight line here, then we can say that these two angles will add up to make 180 degrees. Now knowing these four facts will help you to answer any question that is asking you to find angles that are on a set of parallel lines. So let's take a look at an example. So here we've got a set of parallel lines. They are parallel, we can tell they're parallel because we've got these um, little arrows on both of these lines. So the fact that this, arrow, this line here has got an arrow and this line's got an arrow, we can say that those two lines there, they are parallel. So they're parallel lines. Now, <coughs> we're being asked to find the size of the missing angles x, y, and z. So let's start with finding the angle x. So angle x, angle x is going to be 102 degrees. I know that because it is in, it is a corresponding angle to this angle up here. This angle up here is in the bottom right corner. This x is in the bottom right corner. So bottom right top right, top left, bottom left, and then here, top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left. The angle in the bottom right on this set of four angles is 102. The angle in the bottom right of this set of four angles has to be 102 as well. And so what I could say is that x is 102 and the reason is that they are corresponding. Okay, angle Y. Now angle Y, we can see that angle Y is on the same straight line as 102. We can see that they're on the parallel line together. So because they're on the same straight line, we can say that if this angle here is 102, this angle here must sum with the 102 to make 180. So Y is going to be 78 degrees. I forgot to put the degrees on the last one. 78 degrees 
and the reason because and it would be use this one here so it's angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees and so we just have to say sorry I forgot to write in straight line angles on a straight line So angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees, just using that rule there. So I know that this one is 102, I know that this one is 78. Then lastly I'm asked to find angle Z. Now angle Z, angle Z is going to be 78 degrees as well. And there's loads of rules that I could use to do this. I could say that well it's on the same straight line as X, I can see so on that straight line there with x, if x is 102, z must be 102 as well. I could also use this rule here that it is an alternate angle, it's an alternate angle to y. You can see here that I can make this z shape. So because I can make that z shape and have trap an angle under there, trap an angle there those two angles are going to be identical so my reason here that I'm going to use is that they are alternate angles it's important that you use this terminology because often in your GCSE exams you're going to be asked to give a reason 